Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we are going to use Stable Diffusion to create a Halloween animation for an upcoming date using Deforum. Halloween is approaching and I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to create animations for a specific date or holiday, providing you with more fun to share with friends and family. Let's get started. To initiate a Deforum animation, the first thing we need is an animation prompt. In this process, I'm going to use ChatGPT to help me create it. I have a ChatGPT prompt format to generate a Deforum text prompt with a specific theme or story, and this ChatGPT prompt is shared on the Patreon page. Now here's the workflow. Paste this text prompt and begin by asking ChatGPT for assistance. The AI will inquire about the type of story or theme you want to create. In this example, I've asked for five Halloween story ideas aiming for a five minute length. ChatGPT provides me with five Halloween short story ideas to choose from. And I opt for the first one, The Haunted House Mystery. ChatGPT proceeds to create scenes for me in the following response, including frame links and descriptions for each scene. After this, I respond with generate deforum prompts once chat gpt replies with deforum text prompts for each scene i ask it to format this information into a json file resulting in the json format of deforum text prompts now you can copy this JSON format and paste it into Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11's Deforum extension. With the Deforum text prompt created, I went to civtide.com to search for a checkpoint model that inspired me. This time, I've selected the SDXL Unstable Diffusers Yammer Mix. This author has created other reliable checkpoint models, and I'm going to try this one with the Deforum animation. In Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11, I tested the Joker image text prompt from the checkpoint models page to determine what settings I should use before applying it to the Deforum animation. And so far, the results have been pretty good. I'm going to use the seed number from the generated result for the Deforum animation. Next, I'll experiment with the scenes from the story we plan to create. I've copied the first scene's text prompts from the JSON script and tested them in the text to image section using the same seed number for generating images. The result looks good, and we can use this AI-generated image as the initial frame for the animation. In the Deforum tab, I've pasted the JSON script generated by ChatGPT into the prompts area. I've adjusted the frame numbers for each scene in the JSON to match the animation's desired length, which, in my case, is one minute for this tutorial demonstration. I've set the max frames number to 900 because for a one minute animation at 15 frames per second, the total number of frames is 900. You should calculate and adjust this number according to the animation length you desire. Be sure to update the frame numbers of each scene in the prompts area as well. So this is the original JSON from ChatGPT. There are many options in the forum which I can't explain in a short video. Perhaps in the future, I'll provide more examples that utilize these options. For now, this is the basic setup offering a simple and easy way to have fun. Now I'll wait for the generation to complete and return afterward. Alright, it looks like it's finished. Let's check the command prompt window. Yes, the mp4 file has been generated in my output folder. The output folder contains images of each frame and the final video file in mp4 format. So, there you have it. 
The animation video is ready. Let's check out the output. This Halloween themed animation is quite cool. You might even consider using a projector to display it in front of your home on Halloween to create a more festive atmosphere for trick or treaters. That concludes today's tutorial. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.